Hey guys, welcome back to Tools on a Budget. Uh, today I'm going to be comparing the Hercules uh, to this Tecpo half inch impact drive, um, impact wrench, sorry, that I got off Amazon. Um, this is the one that I had made a video that I believe uh, it has the same OEM manufacturer as this Hercules. Um, just like a copy and paste type of uh, impact. And uh, it has v quite a few similarities you that you're going to be seeing throughout this video. Um, so it I paid, I think it was $90. I'm going to have to go back and check and I'll post it. Um, it was like $100, but then it had like a $30, $30 off. So it was like $80 or $90 um, after tax and fr uh, shipping was free. Um, but it does come in this case. Uh, I'll open it so you guys can see what comes inside of it. So it does have these little latches. These are plastic, so they're probably not gonna last. Okay, so you get this uh, user manual uh, with the warranty card. Uh, apparently it has about a uh, three month warranty, but if you if you register this card, you get a year. So um, whether or not they'll honor it, um, I'm not sure. Uh, you get this four amp hour, 20 volt tech bow battery. Um, it looks very similar to the um, Hercules, but the way the these are cut out, there's, this this will fit into the Hercules, but not not the way that the Hercules has another one here. It's just a little bit different, but other than that, it comes with a charger and uh, three impact sockets. You got the 13 sixteenths, uh, 11 sixteenths, and three quarter. This would be your equivalent to your 17, 19, 21. Um, so, okay, so here's the gun. It comes in a nice little bag. As you guys can see already, it's very similar to the Hercules. Move this box out the way. I did fully charge both of these in case I do uh, I might do some torque testing right now see if they are comparable in that sense as well so as you can see they're pretty much almost a carbon copy the only thing different would be like this overload right here and then the the platform where it actually grabs onto the battery is a little bit different but they, they, both of them have the same uh, button. So, the, so speed one. Here's what it sound like. This one's a little bit faster. Let's try speed two. And then speed three. All right, so I removed all the screws on both of them. Uh, so let's go ahead and start taking them apart. Let's see. There's the Hercules. Oops. Now let's see this one. And now there's the Tecpo. And to me, they look extremely similar these are yeah, these are definitely the exact same impact this one goes here so as you guys can see they both have the same uh, this one's marked 2050 uh, this one is not marked or maybe not visibly marked Uh, they're both ep epoxied at the, where the battery gives gives it juice and uh, where the, I guess you could call it the controller is. Uh, let me see if I can focus. Uh, 
This is a Jin Yuan switch. It's the same switch, also a Jin, Jin Yuan. It's a 36 volt OC 15 amps. 36 volt OC, the exact same switch. There's uh, the red Milwaukee brushless style mortar. Uh, metal gear housing. The it looks like is the exact same motor. Let me take off the. The only difference is that one's a three eighths and one's a half inch. Let me see. Let's go ahead and. I can go ahead and weigh the the parts, see if they're. Uh, all right, so it's at, it's at zero. Uh, this is the hammer. This one might weigh more because it's a half inch. So for the Techpo, it's 92, 93 grams. For the anvil, uh, this is a half inch anvil, so it's probably going to be a little bit bigger than the 3 8 and the Hercules 3 8 anvil about 79 grams now if we just weigh the actual housing it's 140 grams for the Hercules let's try the Tech Po 137 inside they even have the same casting design the and those three grams might only be due to this one having a, a, a little bit more, well, actually a lot more grease this one looks like they don't actually it wasn't lubricated too well from the factory and then the actual hammer mechanism this is from the Hercules, 309 grams. Now the Tecpo, 308, 300. Yeah, they're using the exact same parts. Let's see if I take these off. Let me wipe this down real quick. So without about 553 for the tech po and about 558 for the Hercules. Yeah, so definitely definitely the same tool. Um um, Hercules either went and outsourced it, uh, so there's no way they they claim to be designed by Hercules, but I don't I see. I think right here, uh, design in California. I doubt these were designed by Hercules. I think they just went to a Chinese um, outsource manufacturer and they had them just sell them one of their like probably their better spec ones. But yeah, these are not. Uh, these are not made by Hercules or Harbor Freight. These are actually probably made just by a regular um, Chinese factory. But as you guys can see, these are definitely made in the same place. Um, I mean, the build quality is not bad. This is actually a decent tool. This is probably a better deal than the Hercules just because you can get this for $80 with a four amp hour battery and a charger as where this is like about even on even on the cheapest special I've seen was like 69 you still got to pay another 30 probably like yeah they're both they're both these they're about the same they're comparable prices sometimes you might be able to get this one for like 110 with the battery and charger um, where this one actually now 
these actually do have a five year warranty. So actually now I, I actually, I'm gonna start recommending this one a lot more because now that that Harbor Freight up their warranty from 90 days to five years on all the brushless tools, this is actually a decent, uh, this actually went up from being mediocre to being decent, you know, something where you could buy it and not have to worry about it for five years. And these are actually decently built. I use this one a lot. As you can tell by the the housing is all, it's banged up. And I try to take, I usually try to take care of my tools, but they end up getting banged up in, um, inevitably. I do wish Harbor Freight would sell some sort of silicone cover like the Milwaukee's. Um, but this is also not a bad tool, don't get me wrong. Um, it's, it seems built about the same, so this probably, it's probably a decent tool. That's why they're probably offering you that one year warranty with the warranty card. Um, I'm gonna put these back together and I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna see if they can both, see if this one can, can do like 200 foot pounds or 250 or something. Uh, so stay tuned for that. So I'm gonna start at 200 foot pounds. It's it's fully charged. Let me see if I can. Sorry, I accidentally cut off. Uh, fully charged. Still two hundred foot pounds. Hercules, also fully charged. Here's 225. the whole time. I'll do that again. That was my mistake. I forgot to check if it was in reverse. So it's still 225. Now it's going reverse. So I'm at, unfortunately my torque wrench max is at a 250. So we'll try 250.
and I did skip the Hercules just because we've I have a video on that separate. If you guys want to watch that, I'll probably I'll link that in the description. So here's 250 going going reverse this time. And just for giggles, I'm gonna do the Hercules as well. Reverse Hercules two fifty. Identical impact wrenches. Harbor Freight light to us all. It's fine. I mean, if if they would just have, if they would just say, you know, um, impact wrench. Um, they didn't have to put that. They designed it and all this stuff. You know, like legendary performance. Um, at least now they do back it up with the five-year warranty. So as you can see, the Hercules and the Tecpo are exactly the same gun. Um, little little key differences here and there, but uh, th that's just pretty much so for the battery platform, so that you wouldn't be able to just go buy these generic batteries and fit them on there. But internally, they're exactly the same gun. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. This one claims 525 foot pounds. This one claims about. I'll double check but I think it's 280 so that's a little bit more of a realistic torque claim as opposed to this 525 uh, the torque the torque test channel uh, did test this one I think it only did like it did about the same as the Bauer I think it was like 280 300 not the 525 though um, they, they did say that they designed this in California um, I'm not sure they did I mean, I could be wrong. It, this could have been the original design, and then this one could have been a copy. But I don't think, I don't think that's true. I think this one was already. Um, this one we it used to be called the Popo Man or something like that. Uh, you can look it up on YouTube. It's like there's an old video of this exact same color and everything, but it was like Popo Man or something. Um, but I, I do believe these are these do come out of the same factory. Even you know they just different stickers and stuff um, or at least these parts are manufactured in the same uh, place and then they're just assembled in different locations but the parts I'm I, inside they're identical sorry inside they are identical um, even down to the switches and everything everything looked exactly the same even the hammers weighed exactly the same on the grams uh, the only difference was this is a 3 8 and that's a half inch, but that doesn't really make a difference. You just switch out the anvil. These are actually interchangeable. I forgot to get a pic. I forgot to get a video of that when I, I I put this one into that one. But I mean, why wouldn't they be? They're the exact same tool. Uh, so there you guys go. A quick comparison between the Techpo and the Harbor and the Harbor Freight Hercules um, 3 8 impact wrench. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like it. Uh, stay tuned for more content. I am. Um, I'm trying to get my hand on the half. My hands on the half inch Hercules impact wrench. Um, right now they they seem to be out of stock everywhere, so I haven't been able to find them. As soon as I do, be sure that there will be a video uploaded. Uh, once again, thanks. Thank you guys, and have a great day.